How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Today is just a quick little video for you guys chasing misfires on these older distributor cell ignition systems. I'm going to show you something quick, easy to check, and it won't cost you a dime. It should be step one on any kind of misfire diagnosis on a distributor style ignition system. We're going to take the distributor cap off and take a look inside. This one's actually quite easy. You just have two clips, one here and one on the back side. This is a 1986 F250 with a 5 liter V8 engine. So once you get the two clips off, your super cap will lift right off. You don't even have to take the wires off, just spin it around. And once you're looking at the inside of the cap, you're looking for three things. The first thing is condensation. Kind of hard to see on the camera, but you can see there's all sorts of, yeah, you can see it, my fingers smudge it. There's all sorts of water droplets on the inside of this. When that spark is trying to pass from the rotor to the terminal, moisture in the cap could wreak just havoc on that, causing spark to miss and jump, cause all sorts of issues. Second thing is, check the terminals. If you see all sorts of white buildup or wear, these edges should be nice and square with no buildup like that one there. That can cause a spark not to make the jump. And the third thing is the center terminal. There should be a button sticking out that you should be able to press in and out because it's spring loaded. And that spring loaded button will make contact with the top part of your rotor here. And the spark energy will go from this tip to the terminals inside the distributor cap. If that button's worn out or sticking, that could cause your spark to come and go and cause intermittent misfires or just a complete no start altogether. So this is our new cap. And as you can see, it's brand new. There's no condensation. The terminals are nice and clean and square. And this button is sticking out and it's spring loaded. So that'll make contact and work as planned. This rotor is actually quite easy. Just pull straight off and push it straight on. You can see it lines up with that hole. Some rotors have a screw, some a clip, but they're all pretty much the same. Now a lot of the times these caps will only go on one way. You can see this notch. So you put it on the distributor, clamp it down, and then you start doing your spark plug wires. See I just used that clip for a reference point, and I pulled off my first wire, put it on, and now you can just rotate around doing one at a time. Now when you put the new, or when you replace the wires, when you put it on the new cap, you should, once you push it down you should hear it click into place. Just like so. The worst thing you can do is get ahead of yourself and just start pulling wires off thinking that you're going to remember how they go back on. Just take your time, do one wire at a, pro at a time, and you'll never have a problem with mixing them up. Now anytime I have a misfire, I always check my basic maintenance items. Cap, rotor, pull a couple plugs, take a look at them. Now those three things I showed you, two of them you can actually do something about if you're in a pinch. If this center terminal is stuck in the cap or worn right out like this one is, replacement is the only option. The condensation now you can get in there with a rag and dry it out, or even get a hair dryer. Blow it out, make sure it's dry. Just try to stay away from spraying anything in there to dry it. Because if it's not dry when you put that cap back on and that spark happens, you're going to get an explosion inside that cap and nobody wants that. Now with your terminals, if you get a whole bunch of buildup and you don't have a cap on hand, or you got to wait for it to come in because it's not in stock. Sometimes you can take a screwdriver, just kind of scrape off the, the buildup. Sometimes it comes off in big chunks, 
or even get a little piece of sandpaper or something like that kind of clean it up and it might be just enough to get you back on the road until you can get a new cap and rotor another thing to watch out for when you're doing your wires if you pull the old wires off and you see a whole bunch of corrosion around here before you put the new wires or before you put the old wires on the new cap check the inside of your spark plug wires because that corrosion and stuff is going to be on the inside of the spark plug boot too so it might be a good idea to order a set of plug wires while you're at it well i hope you found this video helpful entertaining and informative just want to give a shout out to someone who left a comment in one of my last videos a charles thanks for commenting you know i appreciate all my comments and i read them all let me know what you think in the comment section about this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you get notified when I get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.